This is a tutorial on how to make a time management schedule on Excel. First we'll start with a blank Excel page. I have here already a time and a couple of days. You need to make the times as long as you need. I have it start from 12 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. But, but we also need 1, 1.30 and so on. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Just highlight the two times and here you'll find a little black box. When you see that, put your cursor over that and then you'll see a black cross. Click on that and then drag down where you'll see the number of the times that you'll need. Go all the way down to the, however far you want. Then you'll see the times. And the same thing goes for the days of the week. Highlight the days, find the black box and the black cross, and click and move. Simple as that. Next thing you want to do is to make a border for the days of the week and the times. Just highlight the times. Then you want to go up here to a box that says borders. Here you want all borders and then click on the thick box border. You really don't need this, but it makes the presentation look nicer and more professional. Next thing you want to do is to determine the width and the uh, width and the length of each row and column. First, we'll do the columns. Like I did right here, I highlighted the columns, and now I need to find figure out a width. Go to this symbol here between A and B and click on it. Where you then you'll see the width number and number of pixels. Move left or right on how you want to move, make your the width of your boxes. Here I'm going to move it all the way here, and then all the boxes will do the same. This is the same. Do the same thing with these boxes. Highlight them and then figure out where you want to move them. Here we'll highlight these boxes and we'll move it down to here. By doing that, all of them will be uniformed in, in a nice fashion. The next thing you want to do is you want to center, the, center your times and your days. By doing this, go up here to alignment and put in the center and then center of the box. Simple as that. After you've done all the basic, the basic part of your schedule, now you want to do is put in times. So let's say you want to get up at, you have a time schedule, and you want to get up at 6 a.m., so you want to show it on the schedule. So what you do is you go to the 6 a.m. box. Now the 6 a.m. box represents times from 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m., so you don't want to have your time shaded into that for your sleeping. So you go to the 5.30 a.m., you click on this, and then you go all the way up to highlight till up to 12 a.m. When you've done that, go to a button that says Merge and Center. You click on that, and now it's one big box instead of the little mini boxes. Next thing you do is you double click, and then you put in your information. We'll put in Sleep. And there you go. You have one box that shows that at time at these times that you will be asleep or should be sleeping. You can do the same thing for all of the days of the week. And then you can also do this for putting in your time schedule too. So let's say you have a, an eight o'clock class. So you highlight the box, two boxes, go to merge, and then put in information. Let's say you have a college algebra class. Now, in order to show that you're in a class or whatever building you might be in, put a color code to it. So you go up here to where it says fill color, 
or or it looks like a little paint can that's spilling. Go to a color that represents anything that you want it to represent, so whether it's the type of class or what building it's in. So let's use the blue for college algebra. And by doing that, you're showing that college algebra is at these at that time in that building. As you can see here, I've done the same thing on this sheet. And you say, well, I want to add other stuff that's going to take a long time. Really, it's not going to. Really, all you need to do is this. You, you go to a box that's similar to that one into, let's say, this is the one zero. So you do the same thing. You go you highlight the two boxes and go to Merge and Center. Do the same thing for Friday. Highlight, Merge, and Center. Then you go to that the, the first box before, and then you right-click and look for Copy. You click on Copy, and then you click on the Wednesday box, and then hit Control, and then hit the Friday box, where both of them will be highlighted. Then you go to then you right click again, then this time you go to paste. And now you have all three of those boxes filled in a matter of seconds. Do the same thing for all of the boxes that you need. By the time that you're done filling in all your information and all of your color codes that you would desire to have on your on your your time management schedule, it should look like this. Now you don't have to have the same colors or information, it's just this shows an example of what you can do with your days. You don't have to go all the way to 11.30 a.m. to midnight. It's just an example. So, if you wanted to make a time management schedule, use Excel and use these simple little steps to make your schedule.